Hey y'all, Josh with Off-Road Dad Life, and I want to show you a $2 trick with foot fork guards. Okay, if we take a look at our front fork assembly, and we have our fork guards, and right down here we have two attachment points. We have this 8mm and this 8mm screw holding the fork guard on top. Uh, I'm wearing black gloves, not for safety, it's because I am not a hand model. So, what a lot of people have done is replace this screw with a plastic screw. The theory behind it being that if you were to strike a rock in this area and it were to come up and hit and catch this 90 degree offset on this machine bolt head, that it could either shear this bolt off, sorry about the shadow, or it could break off back here in the cast aluminum on the actual fork. So the solution has been to order metric plastic screws to place inside of here to give it a shearing spot so this will shear rather than break anything on the bike. Uh, in my experience, I think if you put a plastic screw anywhere, you're guaranteeing a shear. Then once you have a shear, you then have to dig this plastic out. So my solution is to just eliminate any type of right angle here to catch on a boulder or a rock. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So we're going to replace this bolt with a pan head. It's gonna be an M6 by 16 millimeters long. And with the pan head, we're now gonna have a curved surface offering us the capability to glance off a rock rather than strike it with an offset 90 degree angle from the fork. So let's go ahead and put this in. Using an eight millimeter to remove the bolt. And we wanna make sure this bushing holding the fork guard stays in place. I have removed that. Now we're gonna take our $1 bolt. And we're gonna replace it. I am not going to use Loctite here. I know that's kind of sacrilege. However, if I'm expecting a shear, then I don't want to have to dig out a screw as well. And I can carry a handful of these. And if I actually ever have to need them, I can also replace them at Home Depot, Lowe's, any harbor store very easily. So now what I've done is induced a rounded surface that will help glance off a rock rather than catch a rock right here on this square surface. Of course, you still have the issue of this plastic right here, but this plastic will give. It's, it's not gonna be like striking metal to rock. So as you see even here when I'm, when I'm hitting, this is, this is working itself off that pan head rather than having a square to catch right here. So this will be my little solution. Take it for what it's worth. If you think this has helped you out, you know, uh, maybe subscribe, throw a like down there, and uh, I'll be coming up with other ideas to add to here. But again, we're creating a glancing surface rather than a striking surface by putting this $1 bolt in. Hope this helps. This is Josh Offroad Dad Life, and uh, y'all ride safe.